welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is Sunday, December 1st, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook up our ArcScan thermal printer. I'm going to show you how to hook it into my laptop, I'm going to show you how I installed it on my laptop, and then I'm going to open it up and show you how to put in the roll of labels. Um, full disclosure, it's out of the box. We've had it for a couple weeks. We've been using it. We absolutely love it. Um, but I'm going to screen share today to, to, to show you how easy it is to install on my laptop and then show you the other things I mentioned. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because one of the biggest excuses I see for folks not investing in a thermal printer isn't the cost. It's not the money. It's not the cost of the printer. The biggest excuse I see the most often, I should say, the excuse I see the most often for folks not upgrading or investing in a thermal printer is because they're um, concerned about the technology side of it. They're concerned that it's going to be too hard, that they're not going to know how to use it, that they're not going to know how to install it or uh, get it on their computer. Um, and I understand that not everyone in the world as, as technology savvy as I am. Um, not everyone has a Keith or a computer nerd in their life, but it's really not that hard. And if you're going to, here's some tough love. If you're going to be a reseller online and you're going to utilize today's technology to run your business online, you're going to have to get over yourself at some point and start learning technology. You're going to have to upgrade. I, I mean, I can't even imagine in five years what we're going to be looking at as far as technology. So at some point, you're going to have to get out of the dark ages and learn technology. I am self-proclaimed dinosaur. You guys know I absolutely refuse to do anything on my phone. I do all my listing and everything on my laptop, but I know how to do most stuff on my phone. So even though you can do things the way you prefer them, you've got to learn the new technology. Um, and I say that because you can't sit there afraid of new technology all the time and never upgrade or never invest in your business because then you're just wasting money. If things were invented or there's technology out there that enables you to save time and save money with a little bit of investment and the only thing keeping you from it is fear of change or fear of technology or fear that you won't know how to work it, that's just ridiculous. And there's some tough love for you guys. Um, I did do a video yesterday on the five ways you're going to save money when you upgrade to a thermal printer. And I talked about some of the different thermal printers. I'll have that pop up at the end here for you. Just so if you didn't see it, you can see why thermal printers are so important. And today I'm going to show you how easy they are to set up. Now again, I'm going to be showing you the ArcScan, which is the one we have. But I have uh, friends that have the Dymo 4XL and the Rolo. And they are just as easy as this is. Just as simple. And before we upgraded to the ArcScan, you guys know I showed you that we used um, the Dymo 450 Turbo. It was just as simple too just as easy. In fact, I would say thermal printers are just as easy to hook up to your computers and install just as or if not more easy than the big old honking ink printers with paper. They're not hard. They're not scary. Don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of technology. I'm going to show you today how easy it is and I will put down in the description box all the links I had in yesterday's video. I'll have the links to the Dymo 4XL, the Rolo, and the ArcScan, which all three are the big boy thermal printers that print the big ones. I'll put a link to the 450 Turbo. I will put a link to a paper printer that's really inexpensive for those of you that are just starting reselling, and a link to a scale, which you absolutely will have to have if you plan on doing your postage at home, you have to know how much your package is weigh. So I'll have all the same links from yesterday. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, I absolutely recommend that you watch that as well. And um, don't be afraid of change, guys. Don't be afraid to invest in your business. Don't be afraid to spend money to make money because when, you're, when you get rid of that fear and you start being willing to change and to get out of your comfort zone and to try new things, you'll be surprised um, what a little investment can do in your business and how much time and money you'll save overall. So let's go over here and show you guys how easy it is. Hey guys, so this is the ArcScan printer and like I told you, we've already had a box and we've been using it. Um, we really love it. I 
going to show you how to plug it in and plug it into the computer and then we'll do the installation process. I'll also show you the paper. Um, so this is uh, the arc scan, but any printer you get is going to be basically the same thing. It's going to have a cord like this. That one end is going to be a USB port that goes into your computer. The other end goes into the back of the printer. That's pretty much universal with anything you use with your computer these days or laptop. It's just like plugging in a phone. You plug one in there. USB port goes into the USB port either on your laptop or your tower and then it's going to have the power cord. Power cord, obviously one side plugs into the wall. This is already plugged in. It has a brick. I'm not sure if the other two printers have the similar, you know, big power cord with the um, brick, but I'm pretty sure they do. Most of these things are pretty similar across the board. One into the wall, one in into your printer. Gotta line it up just right. Beeps to let you know that it's on. And there's a power switch in the back to turn it on and off. See now it's off, so I'll turn it back on. It has two green knobs here that you just open. You pull them towards you and flip the lid up. This is super easy to load. Well, it's super easy to load for most folks, but I have really tiny hands, so sometimes I struggle with this a little bit. But it is really easy. You just take that piece out. Looks like the little hand falcon, doesn't it? You take the ends off. And this is where I struggle just a little bit because I have small hands, but it's relatively easy enough. You want to get the ends back on and try to center them as much as you can. And then line them back up in here. See, tiny hands, this is not super easy for. Um, and then once you get it in here, it kind of works itself out if you didn't have it right. And then once it's all centered, it won't move anymore. The and did it. These won't move anymore. You pull your paper out in between the green things. Make sure they're under the green things, green tabs. And just push them in a little. It says not to make it tight, but just a little bit to hold the paper there. And your first label, it's going to come out about a half an inch to an inch, just like that. And shut the lid. Click it all the way down. Did you hear it click? You give a little push, it clicks. This is going to be blinking red. If you want to push that, it will spit that first one out at you. Sometimes it spits two. And it turns blue and it's ready to print. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to install on your laptop or your computer. So when you get your thermal printer home, the ArcScan has a manual that walks you through everything I'm about to show you. Um, you go to their website, ArcScan.com, and you go to product right there. You're going to find um, barcode label printer, and the model that we have is the 2054A label printer. It's going to take you to this page where you're going to choose your driver that you're going to download, and that's going to be depending on whether you have Windows or Mac, which one you choose. We're using Windows. I've already downloaded it, though, just to save some time so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me download a file, which is about as fun as watching paint dry. So this is just a standard installation. It's very easy. It walks you right through everything. I'm going to do it with you guys watching. So you open it after it's downloaded. It's going to tell you it's not a Microsoft software verified app. That's fine. You can say install anyway. It gives you the license agreement. Um, we've already installed this elsewhere, so we've read this. So I'm going to say I accept the terms and the license agreement. Move it so it thinks I read it. And it's going to show you where it's putting it on your computer. This is fine for us. And this is, I don't want to read installation instructions, so this is fine now. Just make sure you put it in a place on your computer where you can easily find it, even if you have to put it on your desktop. Next, I'm going to attach it via the USB port, just like I showed you guys. So once it detects your USB and moves forward to the next screen, you're looking at select the printer driver to install. It's already got it there for you. It asks if you want to install a driver for another printer. Clearly, we're installing the ArcScan. So next, and you want to give your printer a name. 
We usually just name ours by the brand. That way we can tell our Dymo 450 from the arc scan from our Canon. Um, but you can name your printers anything you want. We just use their brand name and then we can tell them apart when we go to print and choose. We're not going to share this printer. And you'll also notice I did not, here let me show you, I did not click this square right here that says use the printer as the default printer. If you install your ArcScan on a computer where you print many different things and you go back and forth, say from your Canon ink paper printer to your thermal printer for labels, you probably don't want to check that. But if you have a desktop or a laptop dedicated to your reselling business and the only thing you print from it is your labels, you might want to check that so that every time you go to print off of eBay or pirate ship anywhere, it'll automatically print that for you and you skip the step of having to choose a printer when you go to print. But because my laptop I use for many different things, I don't. I just wanted to point that out for you guys. So you click next, you click finish and we're done. Boom, done. So I'm going to actually go print a test label now. Um, I can't print any real labels because I can't do that for privacy reasons. Obviously, if I print a real label, it's going to show first and last name and address of our buyers. But you can print a test label. So I'm going to do that now and let you see the printer itself in action. So to print the test page, you're going to want to find on your computer where printers and scanners are located. Depending on whether you're using Windows, Mac, or what version of Windows even is where you're going to find this. I'm on Windows 10, so everything I've shown you is how it looks for Windows 10. If you have an earlier version of Windows or you're using a Mac, it's going to look a little bit different, but the process is going to basically be the same just based on um, how easy this is to install. So on your computer, find where your printers and scanners are located find the one we just installed to do the test page. I named mine ArcScan, so there it is right there. You click the printer name and under it will open three gray buttons. You want to click on manage and print the test page. And there's your test page right there, it comes right out. It's that simple, so there's no excuse for you guys not to be upgrading and investing in your business to a thermal printer. Um, the only excuse is money. So if you're new and you don't have the capital yet, that's fine. But you should definitely be saving towards that. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. It helps the channel. Join our Facebook if you have our Facebook group if you haven't. Link to that is down below as well. And uh, if you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Thank you guys for watching today. Go be productive. Go make some money. Y'all are the best. Bye.